Everybody's favorite Onisama is back for a season three. I believe we ended season two with some crazy, you know, saving the tower and doing all kinds of crazy shit. A lot of people kind of said that they didn't really like season two compared to season one, and maybe I'd agree. But let's see if season three is going to be super hype. What's the plot for season three? That's right. We're second years now? Nisama, second year now? Oh my girl, she's a good dude. Wait, does this look CGI? No, they're not CGI right here. Not. No, they're not, right? I don't know. She's a good Honoka, they look a little sus, but the gang is back. Okay, okay. Right, because he created like a new entire tier of like the badges, right? The mag they're magical engineers. They're no longer just like weeds now, right? Yeah, only someone's a senpai. You're trying. <laughs> you know, fucking, uh, she always does this, dude. Mayumi always leans down and just like weaponizes her fucking, <laughs> you know? Okay. Who is this girl? Wait, this is our maid in the middle, but there's a new girl that simps over Miyuki? So this girl gushes over Miyuki, just like how Miyuki gushes over Onisama, Mayumi's sisters. Oh, you're right! At the end of season two, I believe they, they showed us like two sisters, right? There was two of them, right? There's her maid. Who's the enemies this time? Oh my god. This guy from season one? It's highly possible Saigo said clan are encouraging people to criticize the SDF. Okay, so this guy from season one, the long haired dude, right? The guy, the. What was he, Chinese? I forget. He was part of like the. He's kind of like helping the Asian Federation, kind of, but he, he kind of like backstabbed them at the end. It's like, what, what side are you really on, right? Saigo said clan. Criticizing SDF. First operational test. Who is this character, dude? Oh, there's so many new characters. I don't know. He looks kind of cool, right? Him? What the fuck is the skeleton thing hooked up to a fucking? And he's just all plugged up. That test. Anti, we gotta go in. Damn, he really fucking telling the Yotsuba clan metal say fuck off? Only Miyuki can tell me what to do? <laughs> okay, okay, dude. This is getting pretty hype. Yeah, I am. Cold. Opening? Is, is doesn't this look like they're they're you know plotting the um the Yotsuba clan against uh, Tatsuya this season, right? I don't know. Ba based on I forget if this is Aunt Mia or Maya, but basically the one that's alive, so she's kind of against us. Okay, okay. <laughs> Opening. Oh, it's Lisa. It's Lisa, man. I think this is the other sister, maybe. Please, no more parasites! I'm so tired of parasites! So, like, we have, like, um, cousins as well, right? So, it, it, it looks like, um, Mayumi's sisters are right over here, right? But then there's also the cross-dressing trap. Remember the trap? Our cousins, remember? So, this is the two sisters, I think? New character there, and this is also a new character, right? This is what I'm talking about, though. This is our favorite trap. Huh. Forgiven? From the past? What is Miyuki doing at the end, dude? Uh <laughs> Alright, April 2024, man. God damn, there was a lot of things to unpack in this trailer. Holy shit. There's, there's, 
there, there's a lot of details in this trailer, huh? Of all the details that, of trailers I've seen, it's like, this is fucking jam-packed. Usually trailers just kind of give you random scenes with obscure dialogue, fucking slapping the opening, and then, hey, this is gonna air in, like, April, but that was a lot of things. A new year is starting, the sisters are back, but our cousin's probably attending, there's new characters as well, there's some politics behind going on with, you know, the Saigusa clan, and then there, there's the, the, the Chinese dude from season one, he's still fucking around, Auntie, Yotsuba Auntie, you're, you know, seemingly against odds with us as usual and they're seeing Miyuki and Onisama as weapons so maybe they're gonna do like there's a whole group you know there's like an anti-magic movement and they kind of want to like you know remove the magicians and have everyone humans and they kind of think Onisama's a threat I don't know but season three hopefully they're gonna deliver a better story than season two I shit on season two a lot but like compared to season one comparatively can you really say you enjoy season two compared to season one I don't think so